often I thought, why are we so different? Then I thought to put it an end. But then this is what makes us what we are. Why to settle with the stars when you can become the moon? A very good afternoon to one and all present here. I am Aditi Agarwal from the Department of Mass Communication and Journalism, second semester. And I am here to speak on the topic, difference. How different are you? How different I, am I? And why are we so different? Is the difference really worth it? Now just imagine a bouquet of flowers, you know, completely made of white beautiful roses. Very beautiful. Will it really look that beautiful? I don't think so. I'll give you the second option. There is another bouquet made up of different flowers. This time maybe roses. White, red, black, orange, pink and whatever varieties are available in the market. All of that, you know. Basically, that bouquet is going to be placed just next to your bouquet with the white flowers. Which is going to look better? I guess the second one, right? That's because there's going to be different flowers arousing different emotions in you. You know, each flower has its own importance. Similarly, we people, we are all different. You know, we make up the society because we are different. Now, just imagine if everybody of us, you know, we had the same topic coming here, speaking on the same topic, you guys would have been bored, right? By the last speaker, that's me. Damn, my misfortune. Okay. But then imagine, now we are, we are having different topics. Some speaking about NCC journey, some speaking about, you know, different career paths, all different. You know, this is the way the different approaches we are bringing to you. And that is why it seems interesting how the same thing can be perceived in different manner by different people. But you know, it's not very easy to accept your differences. I might stand here and say, it's okay, be different. But then in this society, where society is the soft target, uh, anything wrong happens, society is the one to blame. Society did this, society did that. Who is the society, sir? Ma'am, we are the society, we make up the society, right? So instead of blaming the society, we should understand it's actually our mentality. You know, we are not you know, I would say able to accept our differences. That is the problem. When I was in class six, seven, my school days, you know, I was the topic of discussion in my class always because I was so different. The way I talk, the way I walk, the way I, you know, sit down, the way I present myself, everything. Like literally, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I do not walk the usual feminine way. Like something I do not force, but the, you know, People already have a stereotype in their mind, the usual feminine way. I do not walk like that. You know, I have this dawn kind of way, I walk like this. So often my friends would say to me, Aditi, how do you walk? This is not the way you should walk. Walk like a girl or walk at least normally. But what is this normal? I never understood what is normal. So I thought I should try on a more feminine style of walking. So I tried that. Trust me, it turned out being more funnier. So I turned back to my original walk again. And you know, uh, there was times when I actually got depressed because obviously you are continuously bullied about your color, your you know your uh, size and everything. I went back home one day. I don't know, maybe class seven only. I went back home one day. I went home. I was rubbing my skin very harshly. I thought you know if I rub my skin very harsh, I it might turn out fair and I become beautiful or something. I tried doing a lot, and you guys already know what, like what would have happened, right? My skin turned red, it was paining badly. I did not become beautiful according to people. But then I, that is when I realized I cannot change myself the way I am. Neither can I try changing my walk, nor the way I talk, nor the way I sit, or nor, nor the way I am. Because this is what I am and this is what makes me A to Z. I mean A to I in my case, Aditi. Yeah. So what happens is, you know, this is what we are and this is what we, like, you know, we're supposed to be. It's fine. We do not have to change ourselves just because we want to fit in the stereotype or the society. It's fine because the same thing, you know, if everybody becomes the same, definitely you're not going to study about me in your history books or, you know, your uh, generation is not going to study about me in the history books, right? For me being, you know, noted in that book or for people to know my name in the future, I need to be different. I need to be, you know, uh, able to resist the resistance. And when I say that, obviously, it's not very easy to come up like that. As I said, I myself understood that, you know, it's not easy to uh, accept your differences. As I said, class 9, 10, it took me many years. Today, people say, Aditi has confidence. Yeah, she can just come up and speak in something like this elite talk. But it's not just like that, something overnight, nothing like that. It took me a lot of time, you know, to uh, basically accept myself the way I am. And that is why I urge to you all, you all are different in different ways. If you guys know what is making you different, very good, well done. You have already, you know, explored yourself. 
But if there is something you still do not know what exactly is making you different from the person sitting next to you or in front of you or behind you, you are a little more introspection left to do on yourself. You know, see what exactly makes you different because your difference will contribute in the society. It's fine to be different, always remember, because we all run behind a stereotype. We forget to create trends. Today, Sabhya Sachi has brought up new kind of models. I know Sabhya Sachi, everybody have heard about him, right? You all have, right? Yes, he has brought up a new trend, you know, this dark skin plus size models, he has brought them and you know in the bridal outfits and they look so beautiful. You know, this is what it is. Beauty doesn't mean that uh, you have to be a particular, you know, a skin tone or you have to be of a particular size or in something. For me, beauty is being smart, being confident to speak to people, to be able to, you know, make them happy. If I can bring a smile on someone's face, that for me is beautiful, you know. It might be something else for you. For someone else, beauty might be something else. For ma'am, beauty might be something else. You know, we all have different definitions. So why to fit in everything in this stereotype? Because when you step out of the stereotype, that is when you create a trend. And that is when the same people who are opposing you today might start following you tomorrow. And you might become the next stereotype where people actually start giving your example. You never know it, right? So this is what it is. Be unique. Be different. Do not be afraid to be anything. I am happy the way I am. I am fat. I am dark skinned. I am, you know, a little boyish. Not that girlish. I am the way I am and I love myself the way I am. So this is my request to you all. You all are different in your unique ways. And it's fine. Find yourself. Explore yourself. What makes you different? And if you find that difference, very good. If not, try working on it today itself. Because it's okay to be different. It's okay to be unique. And that is what is wanted for progress. Thank you so much.